What's going on YouTube, this is Trader and today I'm bringing you my top 5 custom classes on Cold War. Now just for living proof that these custom classes are going to be the best is that I am 45th position on career leaderboards on Xbox One. So I've got the best classes around so let's get into this business right now. So the first class, this is the only AR that I use. It is the XM4. Now I use eight attachments on this. I use Gunfighter. And the first attachment is the Microflex LED. It's per personal preference on this one, but Microflex LED is just clean. It's, you know, you can see through it easily. So that's my optic. The second attachment is the SOCOM Eliminator. This is for the 15% vertical recoil. I don't care about muzzle flash concealment because people can see me on the map. I don't care. But it does do minus 10 shooting move speed and minus 10 horizontal recoil control. But that does not matter because this class is sick. The barrel is 13.7 takedown, which means you get 150% effective damage range. Now, if you. ARs are going to shoot further than what SMGs do, so this barrel is a go-to. And then for the body, I use a mounted flashlight because when you're running around and if you just move to the side a little bit, sometimes you can get a little bit of a red marker on your screen and you'll think, whoa, enemy. That is why I use the flashlight because it actually does come in handy, it's very underrated. I use the field agent grip. This is to do the vertical and horizontal recoil control. Everyone uses field agent grip. You need that shit. Beep. 50 round salvage. Salvo round fast mag. Now you need this one to get them kill feeds. And you're not going to run out of bullets when you're in a gunfight. This is the mag that you want on. You don't want to be running out of bullets as I said. You don't want to be running something that's 30 rounds you know it's boring you want something that's going to get some kills man so uh, that is the mag airborne elastic wrap now this is obviously the best handle you can get because it's the best aim down sight stats and it's the best flinch resistance so when you're getting shot your gun isn't going to raise you're always going to have 100 percent accuracy on your enemies even when they're shooting you and then the last attachment for the XM4 is the Raider Pad. This is faster sprint to fire speed and 40% better aim walking movement speed. So this means when you're sprinting, you can go boom, aim in straight away. You're quicker to recover the gun quicker with the sprint to fire speed. So this is all good for the XM4. And this is the number one AR that I use. So into the second class now. This is definitely my top one SMG, the PPSH. This has just come out in Season 3 in Cold War. It's basically a two free shot SMG. It is absolutely insane. So let's waste no time and get into the, the attachments. So first of all, it's the KGB Eliminator. This is to aim. This is to assist your aim and accuracy. Because you need it. Because it does move around quite a bit. I've missed the barrel. I've missed the body. And you're thinking what? You're missing the barrel. Trust me. This class is an absolute god. I got a double loot with it. It's sick. So under barrel. Spetsnaz grip. To compensate more recoil. Because this gun does shake a bit without the attachments. But if you have the attachments. Whack this one on. Magazine. 50 round fast mag. As I said to the last clip about the XM4 you don't want to run out of bullets in a gunfight and if you're getting these kill fees that I love to go for have 50 round fast mag on your mag on your gun even handle grew elastic wrap best aim down sight speed best flinch resistance I'm going to be up close with the SMG especially as I play Nuketown a lot I'm going to be up close and personal with the enemy so I need quick aim down sight and also, I need quick to fire sprint fire time. I need that as well. That's why the stock 
needs to be the Raider stock because this is an all rounder best attachments for the SMGs. Uh, Grew elastic wrap and the Raider stock on every single SMG, 100%. And because I didn't do the pistol for the last uh, custom class, infantry compensator, task force, steady aim laser, 30 round fast mag and airborne elastic wrap. Now this is the pistol, the Diamati. I run that on every single class. So I don't need to go over that again. I use the C4 because people on reverse boosted lobbies, they don't use flat jackets. So C4 is amazing. I use the trophy system to whack up the sentry guns on Nuketown to get in the spawn trap. So that's why I use sentry gun. The same perks on every single class, flat jacket, tack mask. I don't want to be getting naded and I don't want to be getting stunned. Quartermaster, unlimited C4s on reverse boosted lobbies. Amazing combo. Scavenger, I don't want to run out of ammo because I just don't want to run out of ammo. Ninja, so they can't hear me. Gung Ho, so I can sprint around like a madman throwing my C4s, reloading while sprinting, all the good stuff. So that is the PPSH custom class. So my next custom class is the AK-74U. It's been an all time best SMG from the start. And the attachments that I run on this is Spetsnaz Compensator. I don't actually use this. I actually use this on hardcore. But what I would actually use on core is KGB Eliminator. This is what you want on the gun. And then I use the Task Force Barrel for the extra damage and the extra effective damage range and the extra bu bullet velocity. This is what you want. The, the, these are the best classes going. Spetsnaz Grip to make sure you don't have enough re a lot of recoil from the Task Force Barrel. 50 round fast mag, as I said before, kill feeds, I love kill feeds, and I don't want to be reloading in a gunfight and losing it, so 50 round fast mag, always. This is the hardcore class serpent wrap, but if you're on core, use the Groot elastic wrap, and now this gun is going to be an absolute god, I promise you. AK-74U, custom class, trade wild style. Into the next class now, and this is the LC-10. This came out in Season 2. It's been an all-time favourite of mine as well. I love all the SMGs. All of them. I mean it. Literally, all good. LC-10, best class for the century. Muzzle, agency suppressor. It helps with the vertical recoil. What's not to like? Task Force Barrel for the extra damage and damage range and the bullet velocity. This means I can shoot at further distance and that won't matter because I've got the suppressor on as well. So that'll boost up my effective range because you lose 25% when you've got a suppressor on. Does extra damage, everything that you want. Field Agent Grip. Now this is going to make sure that you do not have recoil and this gun does not move. You do not need an iron sight on it. Your iron sights will not move with these attachments on. And you'll definitely be getting up, cl up close and personal with this weapon and you'll be winning. 52 round fast mag, same as before. I don't want to be running out of ammo. And this gun shoots quick, quick. But it doesn't raise the iron sights, which is a good thing. That means it's accurate. So, airborne elastic wrap. I want to be aiming down sight quick. I don't. If I get shot, I do not want the gun raising. So, flinch resistance. Get it equipped. Airborne elastic wrap for your SMGs. All of them. So, that is the LC-10 class now. So, into the final class setup now. And it is the dreaded. KSP 45, yeah, this gun has been underrated for seasons and seasons and seasons. I hated using it, it was rubbish. But now, after the buff, after the increased stats of this weapon, this is an absolute core slayer. Absolute core slayer. Absolute core slayer. Right, into the attachments, no messing about. Infantry compensator. I would use the SOCOM Eliminator, but I wanted to move a bit quicker, so the shoot and move speed and that, it's just minus. I don't want that. So, Infantry Compensator, it just does the recoil. Great. Increase the recoil. Sweet. 
Task Force Barrel. Now, this will make it a one burst on core. What's not to like about a one burst SMG? Literally, you up close to him, one burst, boom, 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 you're dead. See you later. Task Force Barrel is a must. Field Agent for Grip. Now, this is for the recoil, obviously. So, when you're shooting this gun, it does have a bit of a shakiness side to it. But, if you whack these attachments on, that'll sort it out. 48 round fast mag. I don't want to be running into gunfights not reloaded with loads of bullets ready to shoot them. But, this gun does use the bullets up quickly. So, definitely recommend the 48 round fast mag so you do not run out of ammo. And then, the airborne elastic wrap. Because I want quicker aimed on sight and better flinch resistance when I'm being shot. So that is the top five classes that I use in Call of Duty Cold War. This is the Season 3 edition. And these class setups are definitely the best around. So whack these class setups on your custom classes. And get on the battlefield and slay some noobs. So, if you enjoyed the video, then please give us a like, comment, and if you're new, I'd greatly appreciate the subscribe. If these custom classes help you on the battlefield, then please let me know in the comment section, and I'll be happy to engage with you, happy to know what's going on, happy to know if the guns work for you like they work for me. So, that's pretty much it. So, thank you for watching my top five custom classes on Cold War. And peace out. See you later.